I want to uh, make a replica of this um, bearing housing and uh, the drawing doesn't fall readily to hand so uh, I need to take some measurements from this. Um, this video is basically just showing how I took these measurements. Now the most important measurement that I need is if we consider this surface to be a reference then it's the depth of this surface from here that is the important dimension that I want. I'll also, um, just out of in interest, uh, see how deep uh, this surface is and this one here. But the, those two are not as important as the distance from here to there. Now I could use either uh, this, this block where I can uh, mount a linear encoder on or also fit a gauge but for the purpose of this video I'm going to uh, use the gauge mounted onto vernier height gauge. Now first of all I've swapped out, I don't know if you can see this, I've swapped out the, uh, the, the standard end that you get on most gauges for one with a longer probe. These readily available in cheap little kits like this which have a variety of different ends uh, cheap and cheerful but they uh, are, are often absolutely invaluable for certain measuring tasks so I've got the longer pointer on here which fits down in here quite nicely I've mounted the dial gauge onto a little rectangular block mounted it with the lug on the back of the uh, gauge which I can just simply bolt into the or cl cl clamp into the vernier height gauge with the normal clamp for the stylus okay now it's important that the, the, the uh, plunger is, is fairly close to being vertical or at least at right angles to the surface plate so for that I can put a square on the back and well I've, I've already set that to save time on the video so uh, that's square and ready so I'll just drop this down not that I'm measuring off the surface plate but I'll just set it down so there's a little bit of a a displacement already so I can lift this I'll drop it down onto what will be my reference surface switch on and set to zero so then I just need to move this over drop this down onto the surface I want to measure and it's 13.99 obviously it's uh, supposed to be 14 millimeters so uh, for reproducing this I'll uh, work on the assumption of 14 millimeters I can then make the other measurements that I need I have this surface which is showing at 10.2 so then this ledge here I've got and that's showing 3.99 obviously meant to be four millimeters but that that depth isn't important at all uh, so that's basically just an illustration of how um, uh, putting a gauge like this onto a vernier height gauge can be quite useful these would have been quite difficult uh, measurements to do just using the vernier height gauge on its own I would have had to put blocks in here or find some other way of doing it so that's it. I hope it was informative.